hello guys welcome to the channel so this is going to be a multiple video so we're going to be talking about different topics first we're going to start with jt lil uzi and lil yachty so we know this whole relationship ever since they announced it has been nothing but toxic and it's just been toxic and it's just been toxic and i'm saying toxic that many times because ever since they announced that you know they were in a relationship nothing good has been happening to their relationship we always hear about something going bad jt going off because of this reason lil uzi vert got caught kissing this girl but the, it was old and lil uzi said he didn't know the girl however that situation went but now lil uzi is calling out lil yachty for talking to jt back in the day so Lil Uzi added Lil Yachty and said, at Lil Yachty, where you at? You know what you did in 2018. And Yachty responded and said, what I do with a shocked emoji. And Lil Uzi responded and said, JT. So I'm not exactly sure what he's saying about JT. Like, did he date JT that back in the day? Were they sleeping with each other? Did he harm her or something? We're not exactly sure what happened in 2018 between Lil Yachty and JT. Now we're moving on to Lil Baby and his baby mama Aisha along with his girlfriend Jada Waiter. So this whole relationship and co-parenting thing, it doesn't seem like it's working out now. Because now Little Miss Golden, aka Aisha, she don't has a problem with Jada. She has a problem with Lil Baby. And it's been going on for some months now. And now it's Jason's birthday, which is the son that they shared together. But they had separate birthday parties for Jason. So, you know, Lil Baby had a birthday party for Jason at his house or wherever they had it at. But, you know, Jada was there and Little Miss Golden slash Aisha was not there. And last night, Aisha threw a birthday party for Jason as well, and Lil Baby nor Jada was there. Aisha said the most important thing to co-parenting is coming together doing what's best for the child. Never would I ever plan a birthday party for my son without acknowledging and inviting his father. Never would I allow a man I date to plan a party for his child without acknowledging and inviting the mother, his child is. So right here, she's talking about Jada because you know, they're dating petty and will affect the child in the long run bad enough kids are being raised in single parent homes the least y'all could do is be adult enough to come together on special occasions but y'all petty and ain't ready for that level of maturity in my opinion i feel exactly what aisha is talking about the least they could have done was had one party where both the mother and the father were together so that you know he can enjoy both his mother and his father at the same time at his party i understand what aisha is saying but i don't know maybe jada planned the party maybe little baby planned the party but the least they could have did was invite her i did look at the videos i did see that she wasn't there but i really wasn't paying no mind to it because i figured that you know she probably was just in the background but didn't want to be shown or something but i should have knew something wasn't right so she threw her own party for Jason and it also was a listening party, I guess for Jason's new single or song that he got out. Okay guys, so you let me know what you think about these situations down in the comment section below. Also make sure you like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. 60 on the expressway with the water, like the water and the rain made it really hard to drive. So I'm like, listen, I called him, I was like, hey, this car is dangerous to drive and you know, me and Jason really do need a car. And he was like, okay, I'm going to give you the car. But the whole time I'm feeling like he's holding this car and he's holding the benefit. So at this point, um, I kind of feel like I'm in a situation where he's dangling what he can do or has done over my head. And he just wants to play like mind games with that. And it's like, it's a month after Mother's Day and I'm on the expressway and all of a sudden my car stops allowing me to accelerate. So I'm like, what the fuck? I ended up taking my car to the shop and they told me that my transmission has been bad and I'm a thousand I'm a thousand miles over my warranty. So I'm calling him back, like, hey, you said you bought us a car. This is the second year in a row you promised us a car. My transmission is bad, my axles are bad, and Jason actually needs a car. Like, are you gonna give us the car? Like, what's taking you so long to give us this car? But he's being him. So, of course, you guys know we're living in the middle of a pandemic. And me and Jason are taking these costly rides back and forth to get to the grocery store or to the city, wherever we have to go. And we're 
in and out of the car with complete strangers, you know, pretty much putting ourselves in putting ourselves in a position to actually catch COVID-19 if one of our drivers could have possibly had it because they've been driving around people all day. Some of you may be looking at it like, well, you should get your car fixed and that's fine, like, which is what I ended up doing. But at the same time, I'm like, do anybody look at it and be like, damn, the baby, like, why are you, <laughs> why are you be being petty like this? And it's like, he tries to be petty towards me. But he puts Jason in a bad situation. Like, even if you feel like, Aisha, fuck you. You don't deal with me no more. It's like, Jason is in and out of Ubers. And you offered us a car for the second time, two years in a row. Um, I do not let, when he does petty shit like this, I don't let it get to me because I'm kind of used to it. Like, I don't know. <sighs> I really don't know what the issue could be between me and my child's father because the only thing I seriously did was leave him completely alone. Like, I never wanted to beef with him or not be like the coolest friends, but our situation is kind of weird, okay? Because he, <sighs> on top of how he may feel about how I kind of walked away from our situation. He also has a girlfriend that could possibly be in his ear that hates my fucking guts too. No matter how cool she try and be. But she kind of hates my guts too because she feels like I humiliated her. In the middle of our argument when the girl um, put up her personal information, I laughed at her. And, you know, I mean, we were in the middle of a fight. She posted stripper pictures of me. So it's like she was trying to hurt me. I was trying to hurt her. And, you know, we both took low jabs. But, I mean, I got over it. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like she's mad at me because she feels like I humiliated her. And I feel like he's mad at me because I walked away. You know, like, men really have egos. Like, this bitch walked away from me. Like, yeah. But point i let her have him i let him have her i don't understand why we can't all be friends <laughs> so to clear the air i was not blowing him up to buy me a car <laughs> or blowing him up like begging me and my son were in a position where our car really went bad and we needed that car that um he had been promising us for two years that he, by the way, never gave to us. Um, I don't know why he, oh yeah. Do you guys really wanna hear what happened? Okay, so this is how you know Jada is, is mad and she, she fishes for, even though I let her have the rapper, she still fishes for ways to, she still wants to get back from when I laughed at her. And obviously her having the rapper, her having loyal, and her getting the backstage passes and being able to take pictures with a guy is still not enough. She feels like I have to pay that bitch golden back. And the way um, I actually figured out that he gave the car away is because Jada, Jada posted it. So, um, like I said, me and Jason are in the position where we really need this car. And it got so bad to where I was like, listen, I'm really like spinning a bag every week. Um, can you just, I asked him, I said, can you just go half with me on the damages for my car? Just get our old car fixed. Like, I don't know what's, why are you holding this new car that you supposedly bought over our head? I don't know why you're doing that because me and Jason are in this position, regardless of if you only have a certain way, you feel a certain way about me, me and Jason are both in this position. <laughs> All this money you gave me and Jason are in a, a weird fucking position for you, little baby. So... I even said, hey, listen, just help me get our old car fixed. We'll drive around in our old car or, you know, car cover the, the rental while my car gets fixed. And, and, you know, I'm cool with that. So um, when I asked him that, it's like he cursed me out. He called me all type of names. Like he just completely went crazy. Fuck you, bitch. Put me on child support. And it's like I'm sitting here like the way that I'm talking to you guys like that. I'm always as calm. 
And maybe that is irritating to someone who wants a certain type of reaction out of you. And I swear to you, I, I promise you, I truly feel like a lot of things that he does and do pub publicly for her is probably because he wants me to feel a certain type of way. Either he wants me to feel like, oh, I don't do this for you because you left or, oh, look at what I did for her, run back to me or like, I don't know like what type of games he plays, but it's like when I left him, 